Hi, I'm Diane Kometa, and today on Dish It With Dye, I'm going to show you how to make my grilled salmon with mango salsa. A little spicy, a little sweet, and simple to make. So let's get started on Dish It With Dye. So this is one of my favorite salmon dishes and it's really so simple to make. So the first thing you need is some salmon. So I have a salmon filet here and it has the skin on it and I actually rinsed it and patted it dry and then I just let it hang out in my fridge for a while just like this without anything covering it so that the skin can kind of get a little bit dry. Now I took it out of the fridge and I'm just going to let it sit here while I make the salsa and some spice mix that I'm going to rub on the salmon. So there's two components here. There's the spicy uh, seasoning that's going to go on the salmon and then there's the salsa that's sweet and just a little spicy. So it's a really great combination. So that's going to sit there and the first thing you need for the salsa is of course a mango. So we need to cut this up. So grab a knife and just slice it down the side just like so and simply score it just like this and then the other way and then just slice it off like that. So it's really simple to dice it up. And then just go ahead and pop it into a bowl and then just finish with the rest of your mango. Next we have some pineapple. So I bought my pineapple already chopped in a little container like this, but it is fresh pineapple. And I'm just gonna chop this a little bit more into like fine diced pieces. So that's all gonna make it really nice and sweet. And now I want some color and a little bit different texture. So I have some red bell pepper here. So same thing. Everything that we're putting in, we're gonna kind of just cut it up into some fine diced pieces. Now into the danger zone <laughs> with the jalapeno pepper. So just cut this up carefully into nice small diced pieces. So now I'm gonna add in some chopped fresh cilantro and this is going to really give it a really nice fresh flavor and we're almost done. So now pop some lime juice in there. That fresh lime juice is really going to really brighten the whole thing up. I love the combination with the lime and the cilantro. You're really going to like this. So now that we got that in there, I'm saving my onion for last. So I always wait till the end because I don't want to be crying through the whole thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and mince up a little bit of this red onion. It really makes it taste great. So now that we have all those beautiful colors and flavors in there, there's nothing left to do except season it with a little salt and pepper. So I also like to put a little bit of sugar in there. So I know it's kind of sweet, but I find that the sugar kind of cuts some of the acidity. So I just throw a little bit in there and then some sea salt to taste. Freshly ground black pepper and some nice olive oil. Just a little splash. Now we're just going to mix the whole thing together. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Now I'm just going to pop this in my fridge while I get my salmon ready. So I have a little bit of chili powder here. So we're going for kind of like a, a smoky, kind of spicy coating for the outside of the salmon. So I also have some paprika and then we have the, the normal suspects. Some cumin, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder. Then to jack it up a little bit more, I'm going to use regular black, ground black pepper and some white pepper too. So I have my salmon now. The outside is nice and dry. So now with a nice sharp knife, kind of fold it a little bit like this and I'm going to slice into the skin just about a half inch all the way down just like this and about a half inch apart. So this scoring is going to stop the skin from shrinking up because that's normally what happens. You throw it on there, the skin shrinks up, and then so does the salmon. It kind of folds and sometimes that can make it harder for it to cook through. So this way it's going to lay nice and flat. So I just cut a couple slices in and I'm just going to put a little bit of salt in each one of those. And then I have my little spice rub here and I'm going to just sprinkle that on the outside with a little drizzle of grapeseed oil and I'm just going to kind of rub that in. 
and that's gonna add a lot of flavor. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And now I have my grill pan heating over medium high heat and I have some grape seed oil here. So I'm gonna go over here, grease up my pan and get this baby in. I'm gonna take my fish, skin side down, right into my pan. Now the important thing is not to go moving it around, just let it cook. And you're gonna let it cook like this for anywhere from three to four minutes and you'll know when you need to flip it when the salmon is cooked about two thirds of the way up. Now it's time to flip the fish over, just carefully. Oh, look at that, nice and crispy. Now this is an eight ounce salmon filet, so I'm gonna let this cook for probably about another three minutes or so until it reaches an internal temperature of about 140 degrees. So usually you'll start to see a little bit of like white fluid coming around the sides of the salmon and that's a good indicator that it's done but the best thing is to use an instant read thermometer and then you want to carefully remove it from the pan over to the plate to rest I put my mango salsa in a nice serving dish and I'm just gonna top it right on my salmon it's such a beautiful dish to present you know for a regular dinner or a special occasion so let's dig into this baby. Just wanna take a little piece off the end here. Oh, I can hear the crispy skin. Hear that crispy? Ooh. Mm. The skin is nice and crispy. The salmon is moist. Um, it's got that like smoky spiciness in there and the salsa just works perfectly with that you have to try this one this is another good one the recipe is on my website dishingwithdye.com and I hope I made your life a little easier more enjoyable and delicious I will see you next time bye bye now